In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to import a Word document with data into an Excel worksheet using the new Excel 365 version, but without opening Power Query Editor or Get and Transform tools. Our goal is to take a document with text laid out in paragraphs and turn it into a field of cells using the Text Import Wizard. So, let's dive in. I've already opened a Word document with data. Specifically, it's a statement from PayPal account. I want to convert this into an Excel worksheet so that I'll add the totals and other statistical values. The first step is to save this file as a plain text file. Click on File. Save as. Browse. Select a location to save it. And in Save As Type, I'm going to select Plain Text. Here it is. Save. In this file conversion window, I'll leave the default settings, so click OK. Great! Close the Word file and open a new Excel file. Microsoft quietly replaced the Comfortable Text Import Wizard from Excel and replaced it with the Get and Transform tools. The Get and Transform tools offer a lot of options and are very powerful. Unfortunately, they are quite complicated to use. So you have the following two options. One, use the import function from the Get and Transform tools. Two, use the text import wizard. But wait a second. You said the text import wizard was removed. And here is the good news. You can easily restore the text import wizard. Unfortunately, the option of reactivating them is very well hidden. So let's follow these steps to restore the Text Import Wizard dialog box. Click on File and then on Options. Go to Data on the left hand side. In the lower section of the window, you can select the wizard you'd like to restore. For only importing text or CSV files, select From Text Legacy. Feel free to also activate the corresponding wizard from Import Access Files, Files from Web, from SQL Servers, and so on. Great! Now confirm with OK. Now you can find the so-called Legacy Wizards in the Get Data drop-down menu. The next step is to click Data Menu. Click the Get Data button. Next go to Legacy Wizards and click on the From Text Legacy. A new window appears. In the popping dialog, select the text file that you saved in the previous step and click Import. The text import wizard appears. Choose the limited. Also make sure that the box My Data Has Headers is checked. Here are the headers in my file. If you don't have any headers, you will not check the box. Okay? Go to the next step. As you can see, our data is separated. Click Next. If you want, you can specify the data format for each column. I'll leave it as is and go to the final step. Select where you want to put the data. I'll leave the default option, which is A1 cell. Click OK. Beautiful. The data from Word have transferred into our Excel sheet. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Your support will keep this channel running. Thanks for watching.